I'm gonna see if I can just pull it out. Bro, this thing's in there. A lot of you have asked the same question. How has my hair grown this fast in such a short amount of time? I got dreadlock extensions. And believe it or not, a lot of people have actually started out their dreadlocks with dreadlock extensions like Kai Sinat, Fetty Wap, Lil Uzi Vert, and a lot of other people that you might not even think they started out with extensions. And it is completely fine for you to start out with dreadlock extensions if that's the way you want to go. But just know that all this right here, this is my actual hair, 100%. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do dreadlock extensions for you. There are two ways you can grow your hair out fast. One of those ways is taking care of your hair, washing out on a regular schedule. There are products that a lot of people don't tell you they use that actually help the hair grow. And I've been hinting at this secret long enough, but I'll be releasing it very soon. And not stressing out the scalp and doing regular maintenance is all great ways to actually grow out the hair naturally. This is what two years of hair growth looks like. And if you've been growing your hair out for two years and it doesn't look like this, there are many factors that come into play. You either have a very tight curl pattern, which makes your hair appear very short, or you've been having a lot of breakage at the tips, or you're not taking care of your hair and it's not healthy. And the most important part of hair growth is your scalp and making sure that it's very clean. And of course, the other way to make your hair grow fast is to add extensions. Today, I got a pack from Toyo Tress. This is Toyo Tress's Marley hair, and you can see it has about a 4A or a 4B hair texture. And this is what we're gonna be using to create dreadlock extensions. It's actually very easy. Now, I'm not gonna be keeping these in my hair because you obviously can see that it doesn't match my hair color, but if you wanted to do dreadlock extensions yourself with their Marley hair, you can obviously get it in your own hair color. I mean, it's pretty close. My hair is more of like a dark brown. This is black. This process is very simple. All you need is a crochet hook, and I'm using a 0.75 from greatlocks.com. A link to this is down below. Uh, the crochet hook is also great for starting dreadlocks from scratch and creating them instantly, or even maintaining any frizz or any new growth. This is the perfect tool for that. Another thing that would be smart to have is a pair of scissors to kind of trim this down to the length that you want it. So. I'm gonna go grab some scissors right now. All right, so I got my scissors. And this Marley hair comes in like strands, but this is, I think, 12 inches. But I'm just gonna take one of these strands out like this and use it as an extension. Now let's get into how you actually install this. I'm actually gonna start out by taking and trimming this top piece to kind of make it straight. So now we have this piece that I'm going to be attaching to the hair. And I'll show you how to install it on this front dreadlock right here. This is a perfect candidate because the tip is still loose. It's not blunted off. It's gonna be perfect to kind of wrap this around that hair. And you want the thickness of the lock to carry on from the root all the way through to the tip so that it looks seamless. So let's see how seamless we can get this to look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this loose hair and then I'm going to wrap it around the lock just like that. And I'm gonna kind of pull it up into the lock so that it kind of feathers out a little bit. But now it's wrapped around the lock like this. And all I'm gonna be doing is taking the crochet hook and I'm gonna go through and pull this into the lock. And I'm just gonna to continue to do this process just as if I'm doing instant locks. But the first initial thing is to get all of the hair locked into the tip of this lock. And if you wanted to, you can actually wrap this whole thing throughout the entire section and go all the way back to the root so that it's the same thickness all the way throughout. But I believe this is going to get the job done still. And you always just want to work off of your tip to get the maximum length if that's what you're going for. I want to give you an idea of what this looks like. We're going through the lock like this. And what that does is it grabs hair from the other side. You see how it's pulling in? And it's pulling it to the other side like this. And I rotate the hair. It still has some hair on the hook, pushing it back through, which then wraps it around the lock. And that's the process I'm doing the entire time. Just same process. Pull the hair through. See how I have hair? Let me do that again for you. So I grab hair from the other side. Let me see if I can give you guys an angle that you guys can see. So I'm grabbing hair from the other side like this. And then you can see now on the tip of the crochet hook, there's hair on it. I'm wrapping it around, going back into the lock. And I just continue that process of pulling out, wrapping around, pulling out, wrapping around, pushing in, pulling out, wrapping around, pushing in. And that's really all there is to it. So just come through, pulling out, wrapping around, Pushing in, pulling out, wrapping around, pushing in. Continue that process. Just to explain it again, you're going out, 
once you go out, this grabs hair from the other side when you pull it back through. And even if you just pull all the way through, like for it to come like that, it's still locking in the hair. Just make sure you keep rotating, that's the biggest thing. So continue that process, pulling that hair in. I like to go a little fast. So like, see how I'm doing this? This helps it lock up quicker. And it works mostly when you have beginner locks, but it's gonna work really good, especially with these Marley locks. So now that I already got it attached to the hair right here, you see how it's, you can see how it's pretty much the same thickness all the way throughout now. This is where the extension starts and this is where I've attached it. You see how it's that same thickness. And now I'll just lock up the rest of the hair, just as if I'm doing instant locks. So then look at how this is all loose right here. I'm gonna go ahead and instantly lock it all up just using the crochet hook. So I'm just gonna go in and out like this and rotate it. Like my hand is gonna consistently move like this the whole time. And I'm just gonna work down like that, rotating the hair between my fingers, just like this carrying the lock on my thumb and run, rolling it around the, the, the fingers. So just doing this the whole time. And then this is going in between the fingers the whole time like this. This is what the whole motion is. And I just keep working down the lock. So you'll see that how I do it right here. So continue to go down. I feel that this gets the quickest results. Another way to do it would be to just go directly down like this, just keep going down. What this does is it creates a bunch of loops on one end, and then you rotate it, and then now you start going the other way. So doing the same thing, going down. See, I'm constantly moving my hands down. Rotate the hair. A little slower process, but it still gets the job done. Because all you're doing is you're pulling the hair through, and then you're rotating it and pulling it through again. And just with that amount of time right there, this is all locked up. You can barely see the color change realistically. I feel like I can get away with this color, but the lock extension is from here to here. And look how natural that looks. I'm just gonna continue. The biggest thing is you just want it to look consistent with the locks that you have. Now looking at this, there's quite a bit of hair clumped up right here in this area. So if it begins to get too thick, I'm just gonna pull some of the hair out so that it's the same thickness throughout. But it's time just to continue that process. If you feel the hair is too thin, work on that area until it builds up. I'm just gonna run it all the way down this loose hair. Because we're turning all this into a dreadlock and simply using the crochet hook, guys. It's very simple. Just go all the way down the lock, run your hands down all the way, just going straight in, straight out, rotate the hair, do the same thing, go all the way down, rotate the hair, start from where you started the last time, go down, and you'll start to feel it getting tighter because you're not able to pull the crochet hook through as easy as you were before. All right, so here's where the dreadlock extension starts. This is my actual dreadlock, and this is the rest of it. You can see where the hair is loose right here. From here on out, it's just loose. This is all the hair that I locked up right here. And realistically, I wouldn't have this long of a dreadlock. Like I wouldn't do this to be like, just not me, but of course, if you wanted to do that length, you can, that's completely fine. But what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut this at about here. And then I'm just gonna work this section. So cut in a circle, because if not, it's just gonna look like a weird tip or a half circle, I guess. So now, that's kind of interesting, having your front lock match the back lock. Like, look at this. That was like a perfect cut. Essentially locked up. I'm just gonna blunt off the tip now. And this is what tips look like when they're not blunted off. They just look straight and frayed. And of course, the lock still needs some work. I'm gonna do some palm rolling to make it look a little bit more realistic. And there's so many things you can do to make it look better. Blunts on the tip's very simple. Same thing, but instead of working down the lock, you're just rotating it in your hand like this. And you just want it to ball up at the tip. And I'm going out through the tip, pulling it back into the lock. Out through the tip, pulling it back into the lock, rotating it. And now I'm just gonna run back through, make it a little tighter, do a little bit more detail work. So I'm gonna start at the top where I had it, and I'm just gonna do detail work. Detail work is essentially just making all the frizz look a little bit more maintained. So you see how this is really frizzy? I'm just going to go through the lock, grab her on the other side, and then wrap it around. This is gonna tie everything together, push it back through. So detail work is kind of boring, but it's gonna make the hair look a lot better. So I'm gonna show you guys the before and after. And I'm really gonna put some work in on this. So you see the before, I'm just gonna do some detail work and show you guys what it looks like afterward. All right, did some detail work. You guys can see the difference right there. Do the detail work up there, closer by where my ring is at. But tell me guys, can you see where the dreadlock ends and the extension starts, like realistically? Bro, you really can't even tell. And this is why a lot of people 
have to lock extensions because you can make them look really good. But now I'm gonna do some palm rolling to kind of finish everything up. So this is what the hair looks like before palm rolling. Show you guys what that looks like up close a little bit. A lot of frizz. I feel like up close you could probably kind of tell where the lock starts. And don't mind where this bend is. That's from me pulling my hair up. That's in my actual lock. And I'll show you guys where the tip is. The tip actually is right here on my dreadlock, right here. And now we're gonna do some palm rolling. Palm rolling is very simple. I like to use this part of my palms right here. I feel like that gets the most friction. That's how you're doing. And you just work it down to the tip. So you just rub, work it down. So like this. Just keep doing that process. But the friction with you rubbing and the heat is what causes the hair to lock up. Because what's happening is even with that, I mean, look at that guys. That's a huge difference right away. Palm rolling, it makes a huge difference. Look at that now. Like, bruh, you can't even tell where that extension starts. Let's just keep working this and we're gonna see what it looks like. Whew. All right, I think we're done, man. Like, look at that, sheesh. But you guys, Dreadlock Extension 101. <laughs> there you have it. It's really simple to install Dreadlock Extensions. This only took me a little bit of time and if I were to do the entire head, I could approximately finish this in about two hours. But if you were looking at my locks and all of them look like this, would you be able to tell that they were extensions? Maybe at first, but give it a year. Just like the people I mentioned earlier, that's how they did it. They started out with dreadlock extensions, gave it some time and their hair grew out and they could even potentially cut them out. I know Kai Sinat did. And that was just for them to start their locks because a lot of people don't like that ugly stage or the starter lock stage. And you could do it too. Like I could have done this with two inches of hair and just created dreadlocks just like this. But if you wanted to pick up this Marley hair, you can click the link down below. And you can also use my discount code, which is linked down below. And also if you wanted to install them using a crochet hook, I would highly recommend it. Link to this is down below as well. And if you wanted to do instant locks, just the same way that I did this dreadlock extensions, you could do instant locks on your own hair. So link to that is down below as well. Leave comments down below if you want me to keep this dreadlock extension in, and I'll see you guys in the next one.